In this video, we'll be discussing about the leftovers of diastropism. The Earth's lithosphere is divided into seven major plates and a number of minor plates. Since these plates are moving continuously over the asthenosphere, their relative motion determines the type of boundary they share. These boundaries could be divergent, could be convergent, and could be transform. Now, witness this picture. This gives three possible ways two cars could interact when passing by. Firstly, they collide into each other. Unfortunately, due to this, lots of stress is produced and so it causes the folding of the car surface as seen in the picture. In the second picture, both cars move apart from each other and no harms done. Thirdly, when the cars just slide past each other, scratching each other a bit and causing minor tremors and shock waves. Now relate this picture to the real deal over here. In the first picture, we see divergence, which means that the plates are moving apart from each other. And why is that? You see the magma chamber below trying to burst apart and in the process it pushes the plates away from each other. Example is Mid-Oceanic Ridge and this could be related to this picture over here, just moving apart each other. Second is Convergence. We see the plates are moving into each other, basically converging into each other and these create severity formations and folds. Third scenario enlightens about the transform boundary whereby plates just slide past each other and these could create earthquakes and tremors like seen in this case. Remember the epirogenic moments which we discussed in the previous video? The epirogenic moments were basically the vertical moments, upwards and downwards. The orogenic, on the other hand, are the horizontal moments, which acts on the Earth side to side. They are also known as mountain building moments. Lots of deformations could be seen in orogenic moments as opposed to the epirogenic moments in which deformations could be seen, but it is quite less as compared to the orogenic moments. Now, compression and tension are the primary forces which leads to the, for, leads, uh, to the formation of various uh, structures in, in the, on the Earth's crust due to epirogenic, uh, sorry, orogenic moments. So let's discuss what compressive forces at first are. The forces of compression Compression is basically application of pressure so as to squeeze, squash or compact a thing. Forces of compression basically pushes the rock strata inwards. This leads to bending of rock layers and folding of earth's crust severely enough to see these folds rise as mountains. The region parts are known as anticlines and the subsided part is known as syncline. This could be seen in case of Himalayan mountains which we would discuss in detail in the lessons to come. The next to come are the tensile forces. These work horizontally in the opposite direction. Under these the rock strata get broken or fractured resulting in formation of cracks and fissures as you can see over here. This causes displacement of rock upwards or downwards from their prior position along such fracture and is called faulting. We have discussed this earlier in the immediate previous video. This leads to formation of rift valleys and block mountains. The uplifted portion is the host and the subsided portion is called as Graben. In case if you think this is not real, this guy over here 
has posted this picture so that you could see for yourself. And if you think this video was helpful, please like. And if you think this video should reach out to more people, please share. And if you have any doubts, please comment down. And if you think this, if you want to know about these things in detail, don't worry, we'll get you guys covered in the lessons to come. We'll discuss about the plate tectonics, mountain formation and rift valleys and falls and everything in great detail in the lessons to come. This video was just to give you a basic and general idea about the orogenic and plate boundaries. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Vande Mataram.